All right, so he's walking, looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to make any more changes at this point. I'm pretty happy with it. I want to have him not floating in a gray void anymore. I'm going to have that little fence kind of pan across as he's walking. So let's work on that. I'm going to save this as a new increment, number nine, we'll call it fence. Save it down, and my mantra, remember, go back to what am I planning to do next, and how should I go about it? Well, I'm going to make this walk cycle track across a fence. So um, before I get into the fence, let me just go into the symbol here and make sure everything is, is looking good. Um, I'm going to make my all these guides visible, because I'm going to refer to them when I build my fence. So I'm going to unguide them. And uh, let's watch this play back. And... It's a good thing I went back and checked because I I never took out frame, I hadn't taken out frame 25. And you know, before I was saying the time comes, I'm gonna take frame 25 out. Well now is the time. I don't need this anymore. I needed this frame to as a target uh, keyframe for all these frame spans between two. But now that this is done, I can actually remove frame 25 and it'll be a full 24 frame loop. And you can even see there's a little bit of a when he, this foot touches down, there's a little bit of a delay there. Some of that is from the uh, animate sometimes having a little bit of a lag when it cycles like this. But there's definitely, this frame is identical to this frame, or should be anyways, pretty close to it. Um, and so we're getting, this is the only drawing that's repeated twice back to back in the whole sequence. Everything else, the next subsequent drawing is different. And then this one is the same. And then when it loops, it's the same again. So we get a little bit of that like lag delay happening in there. So I need to remove this. If I remove these now, as is, I'm going to leave a bunch of tween spans without targets. And it's going to, it's going to be, there's going to be this jarring boop boop because these are actually not tweening to anything. These are essentially holds at this point. So I need to make sure these are keyframed, but I need to, if I keyframe them now, they're going to be keyframed from this hold position, even though these are tweens. There's no change in the transformation from here to here because there's no target. So I need to undo myself back a little bit and go to frame 24 here. And then now select this whole column of frames. F6 to convert that, whatever that is, is now converted to a keyframe. Now I can take out frame 25 and it will it will loop seamlessly. Let's see. See if I'm proven right. So it does. There's still a little lag from the cycling, but it's not a double frame anymore. This frame 24 is different than frame one. So that's what I want. So that takes care of the looping cycle. I think I'm okay now to move on. So save that back up to my main scene here. And now it's time for me to build the fence, little pickets that he's going to walk on, the fence posts. So let's make a new layer for that. And uh, I'll call this fence for now. And I should probably give myself a notes layer just in case, because I think I may need to do some math to figure out the coordinates for the pan. So be ready for that, I guess. So let's go ahead and, and draw the fence post. I'm going to also just lock this so I don't accidentally draw on the wrong layer, which I tend to do. Um, so let me go in. My fill is going to be like white. Stroke's gonna be nothing, and I'm gonna actually let's make it like an off-white. Actually, we're gonna you know we're gonna make it like a gradient, um, but not yet. I'm gonna keep it off-white for now. And uh, I need to make it fence-shaped, and the fastest way to do that is probably just to select a little chunk in here and take it out, and then drag this down and drag this down, and then we get we're getting like a fence post. Well, I guess it's actually a picket, not a fence post, but whatever. This is what I want. And then I'm gonna, like I mentioned, a gradient. I'm gonna fill this with a gradient color because I want it to be a little bit dirty and dingy at the bottom. So I filled it with this gradient and I'm going to, it's obviously the wrong way, so I'm going to select my gradient transform tool. And mine is here because I've used this tool before and mapped it to this. This is a new thing with the, the um, Animate now lets you kind of customize your toolbars and your entire UI actually. But you may not have the gradient transform tool here or anywhere at all. If you can't find it, come down here to these little three dots at the very bottom, edit toolbar and open that, and then you can see you can drag and drop. So my 
gradient transform was there and I dragged it to be part of this group um, the free transform gradient tra I guess transforms so it's in there if yours is not you can do that or you can just select it here and then close it I think and you'll still be okay um, okay so the gradient transform I'm going to click on the gradient I'm going to roll it around so that it's like a vertical linear gradient and about like that maybe and then I'm going to go and change the color so that it, it goes from uh, this off white not to black but I want it to go to like a like a dirty like a dingy greenish white so uh, the saturation I'm going to boost up a little bit and the hue is not going to be red it's going to be kind of like this greenish brownish what would it be like a brownish greenish color let's not overthink this something like that ish okay hey sure why not and then I oh, can desaturate a little bit more maybe I don't want to be super obvious how's that let's call that done okay so we're almost there I'm going to now uh, duplicate this I want to actually I want to symbolize it first so this will be called my uh, I guess technically it is a picket right a picket fence and now I'm going to uh, I want some oh here's we're gonna duplicate this out three times so we can kind of line it up with the hash marks of the uh, where the stride is right so his, his feet will be right on the uh, right on the fence posts so that's a little bit about like that that's pretty good if I get on 100% it'll probably be good enough okay so I have three fence posts and now I can uh, symbolize these as just like my fence section I guess we can just call this fence I suppose and now I want to add, introduce a, well, I want to close up that gap and also introduce a little variety into these fences. So I'm going to choose one of these and I'm going to dupe it out three times. Actually, let's choose one for now. And I'm going to let me go to the middle one, actually. And I'm going to expand this so that the gap between the fence posts is not so pronounced. A little tighter like that pretty good and I want them all not to look exactly the same so now I'm gonna go and duplicate this out and I'm gonna back up one I'm gonna say okay you are number one you I'm gonna make you not loop but hold you on number two single frame we'll call it and single frame you on number three and then I can come in here and I can just introduce a little bit of variety so they don't look all exactly the same. And now I, when I change them, they're not all changing identically either. Okay, just a little variation on a pedal. Why not? We'll do that. Okay. So my fence is built. Now I need to move it. 